Hey Chamber friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how to screenshot on your computer. So if you're looking at something on your computer screen and you need to be able to share what you're seeing as a picture with somebody, I'm going to show you how to do that. You won't need Photoshop or any fancier paid software. For this example, let's say that I'm trying to create a tutorial for the rest of my staff in Chamber Master. And I want to show them a specific layout or thing that I see on my computer that I want to draw their attention to. On your keyboard, I want you to find the button that says print screen. If you have a smaller keyboard, it might be shortened to like PRT SCRN, but I've, I'm sharing a picture with you. It'll be to the right of your F12 button. So if you hit that button, it will pretty much copy what your monitor sees and it's going to save it in your clipboard. Now you might be able to go directly into a program that you're using. For this example, I have both Microsoft Word and Google Slides up. In the document you're working on, you're just going to right click and hit paste and it will paste a photo of everything that was on your screen Stay with me, I'll show you how to crop it. Or you can also hit Control V on your keyboard. Now, depending on the type of software you're using, it might easily allow you to crop it. For Google Slides, I'm going to double click the left mouse button. And I can see I now have these black crop marks on the edges of my photo. And if I drag just the black crop marks, that is how I can crop down to what I want directly in the file that I'm working on. When I have it the way I like, I just double click again, and now this is the new photo being shown, and I can scale it to size with just the parts I want. Generally, if you double click again, you will actually still be able to see the full screenshot you took in case you need to make some adjustments. In Microsoft Word, I'm going to select the screenshot, and then I'm actually going to right click onto the screenshot and I wanna just find that crop option. And that will show me the same black crop marks that I can drag and move again directly in my document. And then I just click outside of the image and now this is my new image that I can again scale. Now let's say you really wanna drive home a certain selection option and we wanna draw on it. The thing that I usually do for this is I actually will open up Microsoft Paint. This is a free default program that comes with Windows. If you have the search bar, just search for Paint and you'll see it's an app that's already installed. Very similarly, we are going to paste our screenshot. I like to go ahead and crop it first now, when I first paste it, everything is selected. That's what this dotted line on the edges means. So I'm gonna choose a random tool, it doesn't matter which one, that way it goes away. And then I'm again going to go back to this rectangle. This is a selection shape and the rectangular selection, which is the default. And now you're going to create your rectangle. However, the tricky part is you kinda wanna do this in one take. So, I just click and I drag my mouse and then I release. And now this box is my selection and I can move it, I can cut and paste it. However, once you let go of the mouse, that is the selection that you have. If you change these arrows, it actually resizes your selection. So you kind of have to do it in one take. So let's say this is what I want. I actually like to cut and so this is replacing my original screenshot in my clipboard that you don't really see. I'm going to start a new paint file, I'm not gonna save this, and I'm going to repaste it. And then it just makes it easier for me to crop. This is just a personal choice. You can crop it down however it is easier for you. After I first paste it, I'm actually just gonna move it around in my square and get the edging where I, I like. And then I can bring the edge of the artboard, which is the the white space basically right now. I'm gonna go find the square in the corner and I'm gonna drag it into where I want. And for me, that's an easier way to crop. Now, the reason you're probably watching this part is how to mark up your screenshot. And there's two ways I like to do this. The first one is I select the brush tool. I choose a very bright color. 
Um, I usually choose red unless there's already some red in my screenshot. And then I actually select size. This is the size of your brush. So I'm just gonna pick the biggest thing. And now I'm going to click and drag my mouse to draw. So I'm just freehanding that and then I let go of my mouse button. And so I've made a circle that's made it pretty obvious this is what I want them to pay attention to. Now, if you're a little more particular, <laughs> you can choose the oval shape, but you'll need to change these. The fill is going to be the center, so we want no fill. And we do want to change the outline to a solid color. In this case, we've got color one. The size this time is going to be the, the size of the outline and say so this is fine. And this time when I click and drag, it's going to make the shape I've chosen. So that can make it look a little nicer. Now you can actually hit file and save as, and save this as an image. So if you need to be able to email this, just this image to somebody, this is an easy way to do it. And generally this actually takes me a lot quicker once you've done it just once or twice. Um, it's, it's pretty fast and easy. But there you go. That's how you basically screenshot an image on your computer or your laptop and how you can add some markups to it. Now, if you found this helpful, please let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel or Facebook page. But if you didn't or if you have additional questions, please leave me a comment and let me know what I can help you with.